Shout out to the EA Creator Network for allowing me to capture this early Madden 24 footage. And just remember that all Madden 24 footage is a work in progress. If you guys have been watching my channel for the past couple years, you guys know that I always end up playing KMAC early on in the year through this Game Changers program. We've already played a few times, but now it's time to get in a game for YouTube and lock in. Guys, I'm gonna match his team. Usually, like, uh, I don't really like playing with these OP teams, but uh, he's going with the Bills, so let me see who I could go with. I'm gonna use the Eagles in this matchup. They got a really good squad. Jalen Hurts has Gunslinger this year, and honestly, uh, I feel like they're a really good team. For playbooks, I'm gonna rock this New York Jets offense. And like always, man, we gotta rock that 4-6 defensive playbook. Let me know what team or playbooks you want to see me use next. And now let's get into the game. Guys, KMAG usually runs some type of off-meta scheme. I'm really curious what he runs this year, or in general, or more in specific in this gameplay. We're gonna be in Orchard Park in Buffalo. And here we go. He's gonna get ball first, guys. You know in a competitive Madden, you always gotta get the ball at half. It's one of the big necessities. He almost takes that back. He gets a pretty good return to the 28-yard line. And that's one thing in this gameplay, guys, that I have noticed. You don't really get kick returns, but here's the lineup, man. Obviously, Jalen Hurts is in 79 overall. He's got Gunslinger. We're going to put DeAndre Swift as our starting running back. AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, and yeah, yeah, I'm going to cheese with Quez Watkins. I mean, he's 98 speed. I got to use him. Dallas Goddard now has abilities in Madden. He's really good. And obviously, this Eagles O-line is stellar. Hassan Reddick with that superstar edge threat ability. But here's the big thing. Darius Slay, he's a super, he's an X Factor now. He's got inside shade. I'll show all the abilities when I get inside the game. They got Greedy Williams now. This Eagles lineup is pretty fire, honestly. All right, guys, let's get it. We're finally in the gameplay. We're in this 4 6 playbook. And I've already made a lot of content on this 4 6 playbook. If you haven't already, go check out the TikTok shorts where I break down some of these defensive formations and, you know, why they're going to be meta in Madden 24. All right, guys, he's in gun tie doubles. This formation was honestly pretty good last year and then I think the year before that. So I'm just going to try to adjust and play a little coverage to start off the game. Right here, looking pretty good. I sent the guy a little too early. He's going to try to throw that and he ends up throwing it away. Great read. One thing in this year's Madden is very hard to get like broken plays like that. Um, for one, the QB is really not accurate on throws on the run. And for two, it's just, you're going to drop a lot of those contested catches. You can put Greedy Williams up top, 93 speed. This Eagles team is flying. Usually they don't really have the best secondary, but man, they, they even though they did lose CJ Gardner Johnson, they still have a solid secondary right here. We're going to send a little bit of pressure. Hopefully we could come in free and there goes Slay. Honestly, I don't really like that. He has inside shade and he just got torched. I know I, I, it was a drag, but, you know, we cannot give up, what, 15, 17 yards on a drag with Darius Slay, my best defensive player. That just can't be, that just can't be it. But if you want to see the abilities, you can take a look real quick. We got some fire abilities on this Eagles defense. I'll obviously show the offensive abilities when we get there, but just try to get a stop right now. Another drag. Um, he's just killing me with the underneath right now. Gonna have to make some adjustments. Good run play. Just wants to pick up the first. Same thing again. I'm just going to run a little bit of shade underneath, man. Uh, I'm gonna put a cloud on the right. Oh man, I don't know if my adjustments registered. It looks all right to me. Uh, we're gonna play good defense and he's gonna probably just throw this well away. Right here, trying to get some pressure, man. We need a little bit of pressure. We haven't screamed at him one time. I think I'm gonna contain just to kind of hold the pocket up. And if he puts his running back on a route, we're gonna guard it. That's what we do. Give me that. User pick with new ad. I think it's Terrell Edmonds or Tremaine Edmonds. One of the Edmund twins. Forgive me guys if I don't you know get it right. But one of the Edmund twins went crazy for us right there and here we go man we are in the jets offensive playbook this is definitely the money playbook this year it's really good for audibling around um and catching your opponent you know off guard making them uncomfortable that's really why we run this playbook and you know the more you'll see the gameplay you'll know why like it's so effective if you haven't checked it already i already ranked the top five best playbooks and this was number one for me so go watch that video on why I believe this is the best playbook in Madden 24. Right here, there goes DeAndre Swift with a nice gain of nine yards. And man, this Eagles, this Eagles team, man, I'm telling you, it's really good in Madden 24. I'm gonna show you guys the abilities. Here we go. Um, here's some of the abilities. We got wide receiver apprentice on AJ Brown, run off elite, short out elite, mid out elite, short out elite for Dallas Goddard. We don't have any edge threats. That kind of does suck for this O line. That's so good. But we got jukebox, gunslinger, fast break, and anchored extender on um jalen hurts who you know he took a huge leap forward last year one of the best qbs in the league right here gonna just dump it out to the flats that got a little scary i thought you know maybe uh tradavius wyatt trade was about to make a play thankfully he didn't 
All right, guys, we're gonna do a little bit of audibling right here. This is the Jets tour, guys. Take a, take a, you know, take a gander with me on this Jets tour. Take a, a journey with me. Let's try to dot up real quick. We're gonna run a little bit of curl flat corner and see what we got. And we're gonna have a touchdown. That is big Quez Watkins with that 98 speed. I believe K-Mac was in match. That's a no-go with this 98 speed receiver, Quez Watkins. This Eagles team got swag. They got abilities. Oh man, I, I, I believe they're, I think I did have them in the top five. I did a top five rankings video on the best teams in regs and they made the top five easily. And you see why, I mean, they got abilities everywhere. Um, they got talent everywhere. They got speed, honestly, everywhere. And if you if you like playing regs and if you're an Eagles fan, this, this is a great team this year, man. You're gonna be very happy. It really, it really comes down to the fact that they finally gave Hurts some respect and he has the passing ability now, Gunslinger. It isn't, you know, um, it isn't pass lead elite, but honestly, Gunslinger is very good in this year's Madden. All right, guys, he's back in the tie doubles, trying to just make some adjustments. We got to stop with our user last drive, and, you know, we need a little bit of more of that right here. We're going to run a little bit of cover two and just trying to, you know, protect the sidelines. I had a five purple out there. That's one thing I noticed about the purples, the zone drop purples. They sometimes just dumb out. Like right here, you see it was a five curl flat. I don't know if it registered or not. I don't know if I had to pass him right there. Maybe he got fooled by the play action, but... He definitely did not play what a five purple should be playing right here. He's going to quick hike us. It's going to have a good user and we're going to be all right. And we do have a good user. He's going to try us. That's James Bradbury, the fifth. I don't know what IV is. Forgive me, whatever. He's a, he's a dog, man. I wish my Raiders picked him up. There was a rumor last year that we were going to pick him up in the uh, trade deadline and we did not. And he went to a really good team and he's been a baller for them. He's been really good at Madden for so many years now. I think he's like six foot two. He's got really respectable speed. And yeah, man, that's that's big Bradbury out there in the in the in the cloud flat. Right here, we're gonna just hit the flats, keep it moving. There goes Dallas Goddard with that short out elite activating. And we're three for three right now with Jalen Hurts. I'm telling you, man, this Jets offensive tour is gonna be fire. Can't wait to drop some content on this. Hopefully you guys are ready for it because I know I'm ready to post. Right here, gonna hit him with a little bit of deep corner. I'm not really expecting too much on this play. I'm just trying to, you know, maybe I am expecting a little too much on this play. Right here, we end up throwing a pick. I don't know how that was a pick. Man, I needed a little bit more velocity on that ball and it would have been a touchdown. I probably should have lobbed it. I thought for a good minute that was gonna be a touchdown. I know you guys did as well, but Micah Hyde, I believe he has deep out KO with some, um, you know, pick artist abilities. Should have maybe, you know, smart routed. There's so many things I could have done right there. I got a little too uh, excited. You guys heard me. I'm like, you know, maybe we do have a die and I end up throwing a pick. But I know a lot of you guys are probably making that same read. I would have made the same read again. I definitely feel like I probably messed up the pass lead. That's what it was. But we're good. We're playing really good defense right now. He has a middle of the field open and he's going to throw us a book. I don't know what happened. I think he stepped a little too far back in the pocket. He had a touchdown uh, or a big gain, one of the two to either receiver the fade or the, the wheel route. Guys, rewind it if you guys can. But he messed up the free form. Josh Allen just says, you know what, bro? I'm just gonna chuck this to the safety. And man, I will take that 1000% any day of the week. We definitely need that. Right here, man, I don't really know. We're, we're trying to cook up again and we get sacked. So he's uh, he's 100% match. Uh, this bunch is good, it's good, but it doesn't have the best match beaters. It's missing flood and a couple plays like that. But, you know, we're good. We're going to be c continuing to cook up. And, man, we were, what, three for three at a given point. Now we're kind of, you know, a little struggling. He's in dollar now. We already know how this is about to go. And we're going to just take off with big Jalen Hurts. We had a nice gain. We got to get out of there, Hurts. Come on. We got, like, what, 85 plus speed? I want to say he contained right there. But if he didn't, that would have definitely hurt because, you know, we were so close to getting out of there. Right here, we're going to go to our, you know, comfortable, our comfortability our bread and butter. We're going to go with a little PA, uh, whatever this play is called. And he's going to use a rush us. Thankfully, whew, thankfully it's not a safety. We're going to punt this ball, but man, what is going on? We are going to shed it. Like he's not, I want to say he's like not really even like he's playing good defense, but man, it's more of me just getting screamed at or making a little mental mistake. That's a phenomenal punt. We're going to be able to pin him down and yeah, man, we're, we're still good. We're playing good defense. He had a touchdown on the last drive. But he, he definitely sailed it, so we're going to have to mix it up. We can't continue running cover uh, two. We're going to run a little bit of cover three on this drive and man coverage and continue bagging up. We're three stops so far. Pretty good defense. Let's just continue playing good defense right here. A little cover three blitz action. We've got a hard fly on the left. Right side of the field is my responsibility. He's going to make a great read, 
And we need pressure by then, man. We definitely need some pressure by then. It's just a great read, honestly. Uh, just gotta, just gotta, you know, take that away next time. And here we go. A little bit more of cover three. The left side is gonna be open, like corner routes and all that. The right side, like the right middle, is my side of the field. Right here, he's gonna throw a book. We drop an interception. I love that. Scott made a tremendous play in the flats. That was a purple. I honestly love seeing that. Uh, you know, these guys finally can react to react to wheel routes because it's been so long since those type of routes were played He threw it maybe a little too premature. That would have been nice to get a book on that uh, But it's all good right here. Nothing is open He's gonna try to playmaker and he should have got sacked right there, but we'll take it big third down right now We're playing phenomenal defense and this is where we mix in a little bit of zone draws We're gonna put 20 fives and fives. Hopefully this defense is the defense uh, right here. Boom 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 and Last guy we're gonna man up is this running back. Um, I wanna man up this guy as well. All right, nice little shell right here. The only thing is we're missing a couple hook curls. So I have to have a really good user on this play. And yeah, man, we have a phenomenal defensive defensive coverage, defensive shell, big fletch comes in big with the sack. And man, this is now right here, we're gonna send the dogs. We gotta send the dogs. We gotta make sure we get off the field right here. And honestly, we gotta get points this upcoming drive. But may, first things first, we got to get the stop. Boom, boom, boom. Right here, I'm loving the shell. Just need a little bit of pressure from this Eagles front seven, and we'll be good. Come on, Darius Slay. I know, I know I could count on you to get me a stop. We got the perfect guys manned up, and there was just absolutely nothing he could have done right there. I'm not sure who Evans is, but he's balling out right now. Gets us that fourth down sack. We got to get some points on this drive, man, because we, we just got to get some points, man. We're, we're playing phenomenal defense, and we should have more than seven points. Right here, once more, we're gonna run a little bit PA boot over and see what we got going on for us. We're gonna have Quez Watkins under pressure. It's back, it's it's back. I mean, man, he's running match. Everything is open and I just can't get the ball out sometimes, I feel like. Uh, yeah, man, Quez Watkins sells us right there. We're gonna run right here. I'm definitely, you know, playing for a field goal at bare minimum right here. We're playing too good of defense to only be up seven. Right here, we almost broke out of that. He's in dollar. You know we got to test the dollar run D this year, guys. It was a big focal point last year is that, you know, dollar was too good against the run. Let's see how, like, like let's see what the changes they made were. Going to run the ball right here. I do not want to be on this left hash. And then we're going to take it to the two-minute warning. Um, DeAndre Swift, man, he's getting us some good yards. Right here, I could have bounced that out for much more than four yards, but I kind of messed up on the stick. We'll take it, though, without a doubt. All right, right here, guys. It's a little too close to be, you know, with passing to the red zone, but I really like this play. Um, it's a new play they added into Madden, and we're going to have a touchdown if we don't bump up. Perfect play call at the perfect opportunity. He went very aggressive with the hard flats, and honestly, he had the fade open. I got to find better spacing on that play because they, the routes kind of ran into each other, but, man, that's going to be a money play this year, 100%. Flood out of the New York Jets playbook. All right, guys, we're going to run a little bit of match right here. We haven't ran match all game. Let's test out how good match really is. Boom, we're going to um, we're gonna play coverage right here. I really do not want to get burnt deep. I'm trusting my cover four zones and my cover four quarter match zones to get right. I have a three wreck on the field. I'll show the player next time. And right here, really good defense. I mean, match is looking really crispy this year, guys. We're going to run match again. The thing is, this time, instead of sending three, we're going to blitz the hounds. And we're going to get crazy on this right side. Um, boom, here's some of the adjustments. The right guy is mine. Boom, have a good user. Hassan Reddick is screaming, man. This Eagles team is eating right here. Definitely want to just play safe. Um, I'm going to man up the running back. Boom. Uh, just kind of want to protect the sticks, honestly. Don't want to give up like a corner route. And hopefully we get a little bit of pressure. He has a wheel route open. Excuse me, not the wheel route. He has a, he has a lot of time, man. Just make a tackle and that's fine. I'll take it, man. I, I messed up right there. I definitely messed up. We're going to call a timeout because I just I feel like my adjustments on that last play, I didn't get to blitz my user. That's why I didn't get any sheds. I don't want to get quick hacked right here. Um, we're going to run a cover two man, shade underneath. Yeah, I, I, this is this is the shell right here. Uh, the tight end's my responsibility. Hopefully he's on a corner route. He has the running back wheel open. And great read. Great read right there. Just make a tackle. Make a tackle? Why can't we make tackles? I mean, I don't know how he gets a touchdown on that, guys. Beats me. But hey, it's all good. We do get ball a half. Let's get at least the bare minimum of three, three right here. I know why it's open, right? I ran man. Wheel routes are supposed to cook man this year. And, you know, I'm not mad about that. I'm more mad at the fact that I have a safety in the area. And the pursuit angle on that was just, it wasn't there, man. I, I There's no way that in any world that should have been a touchdown. But it's all good. We keep it moving. Can't stress about that play. 
And it's not like he had a crazy running back right there. I want to say that's James Cook with like 90 speed. And somehow it looks like he was like Barry Sanders in the prime. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure how he got out of there. But like I said, we can't think, we can't dwell on it too much. He's back in the dollar. So we're going to have to, you know, play it smart because we all know how good dollar is. He's going to send a heat right here. And man, I mean, everything is open. He's just saying, well, you know what? We're going to send everyone and everything's going to be open. Uh, he's just playing aggressive at this point. Just trying to get a stop by any means. And I don't knock him on that at all. So right here, we're going to go curl flat corner. And that's one thing about, um, you know, dollar in general. It's just, it's just uncomfortable to play against. No matter what year it is, the alignment is so good. You're just going to be able to get pressure right here. I mean, come on, man. Just get out of my way. That's a good yard. That's an easy yard of 10 yards. But the O-line kind of bumps me up. And I have, like, I have a fast QB right there, guys. Like, I need to, you know, be able to take <laughs> off. Right here, we're just trying to hit the uh, corner route right here. And we throw a book. I, as soon as I threw it, man, I knew it. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of read that wrong. I thought it was a hard flat. Should have thrown it to the tight end, but it's all good. See right there, man. Just I don't know. We can't highball this year, so that's just it. Just it just wasn't a good read. Simply put, it wasn't a good read. Right here, just gotta have a good user, and that's what we do. Everything is caged. No sevens here, and we're gonna be good. He has nowhere to throw to. All right, it's looking like he's gonna take three as long as I don't give up a touchdown right here. And man, I feel like I'm dominating this game. Just a few mental mistakes in my offense. You know, it hasn't been the best. I won't lie to you guys. I've been kind of, you know, stuck in the middle of the field. You got to be on a hash this year, guys. It really does matter to be on a hash. Uh, right here, he has nothing open again. I'm just going to click R3 just so the guy gets there. This is probably going to be the last play of the drive right here. Let's see if he goes for it. I 100% assume he's going to go for it. And I got I got the perfect shell right here. We're going to run cover two. And we're going to just back up our dudes. And just have a good user. That's all that matters right here is having a good user. If he hits the sidelines, you know, it is what it is. He, he gets it. If he makes a dot, that's a great play, you know. But we just got to have a good user. And he ends up throwing a bad read. Could have definitely been picked. Um, let's see if he ends up going for it. If he kicks three, he's going to take three. Not not the best end of the half, but we'll, it's, it's all good. We'll take it. All right, man. We got we to gotta have a good drive on offense this drive, man. We've had players open. We've had running lanes. And it's just kind of just been kind of like clunky, right? You know, we, we look, we have potential. We have dots open. We're just not finding them. We've been stuck in the middle of the field too often. Middle of the field pretty much means like a lot of your routes are just, they're going to be more tougher to throw, right? You always want to get to a hash right here, 100% running the ball, some type of inside zone or base, getting to a hash. And then from there, we're going to cook up. So he's in this as his run D, I assume. And maybe like first and second down defense and then third down defense is dollar. Right here, even though we don't get any yards, we get to a hash. That's the most important thing for me. And time to cook up, man. We have Gunslinger. We don't have any excuses to, you know, uh, mess up against the Blitz because we do have Gunslinger. That's the best ability for passers against the Blitz. Right here, we're going to have an open read. We're going to have an open read, I think. Micah Hyde is crazy as a bad free form. I, I was labbing that up all last night. And... I forgot how good Micah Hyde really is in, in regs. He's got like crazy reaction time. He's got crazy um, abilities. And that's just, that's maybe just not, I don't know. Maybe that was just a bad free form. It's all good. I'm definitely messing up my throws. First game on, you know how it be. Right here, we're just going to take the flat, try to truck him. And we get lucky. That's, that's a very lucky play. We needed that play to kind of, you know, get us calm and get us right back on our feet. I know he's probably raging about that play. But hey, man, Dallas Goddard got us right right there. And I won't be lying, I've played KMEC a few times already, and man, in a lot of those gameplays, I have gotten lucky um, right here. Boom, DeAndre Swift showing off why he's, you know, one of the best running backs in the league. But yeah, man, I've gotten lucky quite a few amount of times versus this dude already. And uh, I mean, obviously that don't matter, there's no money on the line, but yeah. I know it's it gets frustrating when you're playing someone and they're getting a little bit fortunate right here. Ooh, that was a great dot. We just didn't get our feet inbounds. Um, he had a good user, man. I, I threw it a little early because I felt like his user could have been there. I got to remember, I have Gunslinger. I could I could throw these passes often like a little later. Um, it doesn't, it, you know, Gunslinger is so good, man. It's just so good. Obviously, we match it up with PLE and it's going to be even better. But for now, you know, we'll take it. Right here, we're just going to take our flats. I mean, that's a lot of yards. Amazing rat catch. We get, what, five out of that? We'll take that. Move the chains. Not move the chains make them make it more reasonable to get this first down on third and five 
right here. We're gonna go back to this play. I, I've got to, you know, I gotta hit this corner out once and for all. It's been open all game. Come on, give me, give me enough time to throw this. Right here, we're gonna pass it underneath, and we're gonna catch it. Wow, I think he's his guy has deep out elite, and it didn't react. We'll check it. I think his guy has deep out zone KO, and he didn't, you know, he didn't force the incompletion. Um, we'll have to check real quick if he has that or not. And there was really nothing open on that play besides that corner out. We were lucky enough to catch it in bounds. See right here, does he catch it? It looks like he held onto it. And let's see if he even has that ability. He has deep out zone KO and we end up still catching it. So that's just, that's just a little sus, honestly. Like, okay, is deep out zone kind of patched this year? What's going on? Right here, boom, running back route. We get absolutely lit up, but we still, we still hang on to it. Right here, we're gonna run a little bit of bench. I don't really like this look. I'm gonna try, I, it's very hard to pass up the seams. So we're just gonna throw this and we're gonna try to throw a dot under pressure, out of bounds. I wanna say that would have been a touchdown or an incompletion. I don't think uh, the cornerback baseline press was gonna pick that off, but it, it definitely got a little scary at the end. And we might go back to the same play. I'm not gonna lie, that play, I, we gotta find a way to get this ball in this left corner with Quez Watkins. Um, let's see if he sends the heat again. He is gonna send the heat. And we're gonna try to pass it. That time might've been a pick. I'm not sure, it looks good, but the ball was gonna flow in the air. We'll take our three. Definitely not the best play call. I should've probably hit the flats on third down and then passed on fourth. But it's just that baseline press look that makes it kind of confusing. And also the fact that we're in the red zone, definitely much harder to pass in the red zone. Let me know guys, do you guys think that was a touchdown? Do you think that was a pick? I. I don't know. I, I think it was a 50-50 bang-bang play. I got to realize that his guys have really good zone KOs up top. Uh, I want to say these guys have three deep zone KOs. So that definitely might have been a drop. It's all good. Let's get back and play some defense. We were up 14-0 in this game. All on, honestly because of our defense. And now we see our lead dwindle to seven. Um, just got to, you know, make some adjustments right here. Going to go guard this wheel route. Everything is caged. Not going to let that wheel route beat us again. Right here, we're gonna send a little bit of pressure. Right here, Hassan Reddick absolutely screaming. This dude is a dog. B Gap Nation, stand up one time, Eagles Nation. Stand up one time for Hassan Reddick. You see him coming in free. Right here, we're gonna run cover two zone drops. Make sure we get our adjustments set up in time. And I, I wanna go coverage right here. I'm gonna go coverage right here. Might not be the best look. Right here, really good coverage. Really good coverage. Get him, Hassan Reddick. Get him one time. He's going to throw him. He's just going to throw a read. There goes big play slay. We're going to have to try to bounce this out to the end zone. Make a man miss one time. Make a man miss. I still have negative stick. But, man, he was running for his life, man. That looked like the Eagles in 2022 uh, last year pretty much. They were just hounding after the QB over and over again. And that, that just made me smile and laugh because those plays are very hard to, like, those those. Like I was telling you earlier in the gameplay, those broken plays are very hard to kind of, you know, make happen in this year's Madden. It's just not really realistic, honestly, uh, for you to see that. Say that we're going to try to do it ourselves and we actually end up getting a broken play. What are the odds? I'm down talking the broken plays and we end up getting one. Right here, we just got to punch this in. It won't solidify the game, but with the way we've been playing defense, it might as well solidify the game. We're going to flip our toss. I think toss is really going to be a money play on the goal line this year, especially versus goal line. Hopefully, I don't eat my own words right here. I want to say we're going to get in. And can we bounce it out to the sideline? We lost like seven yards. What a terrible play call. Oh, me, oh, my. I thought we were going to break out. I think it was Matt Milano, just a really good linebacker, made a really good play on that left side. Can't even be mad. It was him and Vaughn Miller out there. So just got to tip the cap, man. Just got to tip the cap. Those are some really good players. Those are the best defenders on one of the, those are some of the best defenders on that team right here. Honestly, not the best play. Um, we're just trying to get a few yards. Take off with Jalen Hurts. And that's going to be a touchdown. That's what I was looking for in the first half. That's Hurts right there, man. I know that Hurts. I was looking for that all first half. I got kind of clogged up by the O-line a few times. Um, I don't know if it's my fault, but hey, man, we eventually, third time's a charm, right? We eventually get in, get some yards with Hurts, and honestly, it was the biggest play of the game thus far, because I'm not third and goal, man. You don't want to be there, man. Trust me, you don't want to be on that third and goal in the red zone this year, especially early on in the Madden, but we're not really going to have QB abilities. It's going to be very hard to fit in those, you know, tight dot windows. You're going to find a lot of running in the red zone, and 
you know, I'll make, there might be like a five wide money play or something like that. But yeah, for the red zone, man, best of luck. Hopefully you guys just are able to get a one play touchdown and avoid the red zone altogether. And man, let's go. We've been playing phenomenal defense. I mean, like I, I'm loving the way we're playing our defense right here. We're just going to play a little bit of match and try to, you know, just have a good user. That's a big thing in this year's Madden. Have a good user. I'm not mad at that. Honestly, I do wish it matched onto it, but I do have the match setting on. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe because we don't have zone KOs or whatever. I'm not mad about it. We'll just keep it moving. I'll know what to do next time when I see that. Right here, boom. We're going to put a cloud fly there this time. And it's on 25, so we got match and zone drops activated. Three wreck on the field. I honestly still don't like this feature. He might have a touchdown. He's going to go up top. Greedy Williams make a play. Unfortunate for K-Mac. That is open. He just maybe waited too long or it just, I don't know. His his passes on the deep ball have been kind of like, this, I don't know. It's, it's very tough to pass it deep this year, man. It's not even him. It's more of the game. It's very hard to, you know, find, for, what, for one, have enough time. Two, find a money player, money route. And three, you know, just be able to convert on that right here. We're going to run match. Good read right there. The drag was open. He, he had something else open, but it would have been a tighter window. Probably maybe a pick. Right here. Just trying to adjust real quick in time. If he goes on a wheel route, that guy is mine. Um, he's going to run a little bit of this, whatever this formation is called. And hopefully we play good defense. We have two guys manned up to the one dude. We're going to have to run back and guard this deep post. And he's going to go deep. Great, great read and great pass to Diggs. I mean, you could definitely tell the superstar receivers in this game get separation and make the toughest catches and, you know, make the toughest throws. Right here, that's just a dot. Look how far he threw that. And that guy was manned up. It's not like it was an easy open read. I barely, he barely had any separation on him. And he has bazooka now. So we gotta definitely watch out for this ability. Don't get quick hike, don't get quick hike. We did not get quick hike, thankfully. Um, I have a feeling he's gonna try to go to the slot receiver. Oh boy, this is not good. We don't have any depth on this right side. We're gonna have to run to this right side. Boom, we're here. Get his ass. And wow, Josh Allen is super fast. I clicked R3 in the perfect time, I felt like, and he completely just swerved my defender. And this is still a game, guys. I mean, I thought for sure we were going to be smooth sailing to the victory line, but we are still here. We are still sweating right here. I, I messed up my adjustments, but we're good. We have phenomenal defense. That's Darius' big play slay. Can we get out of there for once? Stop and go. Can we get out of there? We're going to hit RT spam. We're going to hit R1 spam. Get out of there for me, Darius Slay. R1 spam might be back because we are moving, we are grooving, and we are to the Baja. A big play slay. Two picks if you count that as a pick in this gameplay. Uh, I mean, the first one definitely could have been a pick six, but I might have found some sauce, guys. I don't know. That R1 spam looked pretty good. I did not think I was going to get out of there, but I was just R1 spamming, moving, flying, gliding, and we finally, we finally had a big play go our way. Let me know, was that fluke, guys? Did I just have good stick or is it R1 spam? Is there something there? Because trust me, guys, as a guy that's playing, I, I, I definitely felt like I was moving a little different with that R1 spam. Whether it was like, you know, I was able to crease through the holes better or just run faster. I don't know. Well, I'll lab it up, I guess. Right here, we're just trying to go deep. I don't even want to throw mm -hmm. that. I was trying to throw the ball away, man. It's all good. We're up 10 still. That, that pick six, that pick two was so huge now. Uh, I can't even be complaining right now. But still, I'm trying to throw that ball away, guys. I needed that ball to get thrown away. Right here, this is not what I wanted to call, but it's all good. We're gonna cook up either way. I'm looking for AJ Brown. Oh, I didn't even realize that wasn't even a sack. Okay, now, okay, now. I didn't even realize that wasn't a sack. We did get the ball thrown away. I don't know how. I thought for sure that was a, you know, a sack, but that completely fooled me. Um, either way, we, we end up dotting up the next play. Definitely needed that. Right here, going back to one of my favorite plays in this year's Madden, in this year's playbook, and it's this this corner strike play. You see the dots on this play? His deep KO lit up right there. I mean, I'm not even mad. It was more of the fact that it was open. I'm glad it was open, um, and it does help that half slinger, obviously. But man, you see that play. That, that corner route is really good. Right here, we're going to motion it out and test his zone real quick. Um, I think I'm going to put this guy right here and something. Oh, we're gonna have a touchdown. Up the seams, we're trying you. We got Quez Watkins, we'll be seeing you later. We'll be seeing you. 98 speed up the seam. I know it's almost damn near cheating, but hey, we don't care, we'll be seeing you. As soon as I seen that cover four, cover two, whatever that shell was, it kind of looked like a cover four, honestly. 
Um, I probably wasn't covered too. I mean, I hope that's not covered for either way That's more the fact that I have 98 speed right there More than the zone coverage itself because those are two good defenders Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde We just split the seams. I mean that was just that was just beautiful, man I love seeing that type of stuff. That's that's my go-to way of playing Madden just Basic stuff, right? You run a cover two. I'm gonna run a cover two seam beater up the middle and you know I had enough time thankfully. I love that type of Madden that really resonates with me and that's how I Made a really good run in Madden 19. Simple stuff like that, right? Right here, we're going to run Shade Down Man. Darius Slay is glowing up. He's lining up. He has a wheel route open again. Hopefully, he doesn't see him. This time, can we make a tackle? We still can't, be ta we still can't tackle James Cook for whatever reason. Uh, that hurts because Darius Slay was in the zone, and all of a sudden, he's gone. I wanted, him to see go I wanted to see him go crazy, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, he just called the right play at the right time. Right here, Scott's going to... I mean, James Cook is just the best player ever. Once he gets his best, his first good mud item, uh, I will be using 100% because this guy is untackleable. We messed up our adjustments. He's going to have someone open. He missed the read. Uh, Big Fletcher come in, save me, bail me out. He's going to throw it, and that could have been a pick, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. He's just trying to get in the end zone. Right here, just going to run a little bit of cover three, man up the running back, and just shade down. And make sure he doesn't take off right here. There they go again. This Eagles D line is crazy. And I'm not going to lie. You know why that play only worked is because the guy I manned up to the running back. Look at him again. He's he's in a zone. I mean, that's that's the game. The guy manned up to the running back is kind of playing the drag and the running back at the same time. That's going to be GG's in the chat to KMAC. I'll make sure to leave a link to his channel down below in the description. If you enjoy this content and want some more Madden 24 competitive content, Smash that like button and subscribe with that push notification bar to see when I upload daily videos. We're back and better than ever from 9 and 24. And I'm enjoying the game so far. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys take it easy. I'll see you soon.